Well hello everyone, it's Tony from Toad Hall Vintage and today I want to show you a very quick tutorial about how to use an amazing colour of paint called Patina from Sweet Pickens Milk Paint. This can be used on furniture, timber or anything. This right now is a very solid cast iron candlestick or candelabra and I've covered it with the, the paint. And I'm going to show you just quickly how easy it is to distress. This is a just a wet towel and you just rub it. This has been drying for about no longer than an hour and a half. And sometimes when you've got some metal items that you would love to have this lovely, I didn't take a before shot of this, but they were very boring because they were like a very chocolate dark colour and they weren't going to stand out in anybody's house. Um, and this is how easy it is. Look how delightfully chippy this paint works. It's very unpredictable and I kind of, I think that's what's the appeal for me. I just love the way it just allows you as a creator to age and, 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 and pick the moment in which the distress happens. So this is just water. You can see, um, get a close look, the cast iron surface is coming through. <laughs> and look, it just looks adorable and I love it to pieces. Um, and this paint you can wet distress on furniture, you can wet distress on um, other items as well. Like this one is cast iron, so look at that beautiful and I particularly love this color I've been using what I call my patina effect on so many different pieces and I've really just been experimenting and pushing the paint to see what it can do and sometimes when you, you when you wet it with a spray bottle on furniture and let it run it just has this amazing age look which we all love so, so here's a couple of others that I did earlier one two three aren't they cool and this is just using sweet pickings milk paint in patina so I hope you like like that little distress technique because I'll tell you what, can't get any easier than that, can you? Thanks for watching. Bye.